The amazing digital circus drama just keeps on getting worse and worse at this point. A month after the pilot was released for the Indie Animation Show, it has amassed over 127 million views, which is crazy. And following this, we have discussed so much controversy that has ensued because of this, such as the King allegations and drama involving King as voice actor called Sean Chiplock and his problematic past. We've also covered the NSFW degeneracy problem and R34 problems, and Gooseworks harasses and doxes. And today, more developments have arisen in which I wish to cover. Now, the first situation I want to go over is how the voice actor for Jax, which is a prominent character in the amazing digital circus called Michael Kovac, basically went on Twitter recently to voice his frustration against the cancerous UTTP force, which is basically called the YouTube Troll Police. He states on Twitter, the good old UTTP is at it again and are now targeting me. I apologize to everyone who has had to see a very disgusting and clearly spoofed tweet screenshot posted by them. If you see them, just block and go about your day. Cheers, smiley emoji. Now, the UTTP, for those who don't know, are extremely annoying and they have literally been spamming my comments for the past few months now, literally thousands and thousands of times, and have made up all types of lies against me and others in order to gain just a slight sliver of attention. And if you didn't know, the UTTP were the people who were literally posting Gooseworks alleged docs information and making fun of her for literally being trans. Like, these people are crazy. They even made fun of Dan TDM when he was crying after his dog died. Well, now basically the UTTP is making fake tweets trying to pin Michael as a P3 defile, attempting to get impressionable amazing digital circus fans to turn on him, and also to get him dropped by Gooseworks and the Glitch team. Now the user that Michael was referring to in this tweet is actually called Officer BMT UTTP, and the tweet they made basically stated, Michael Kovac will be arrested by the UTTP. He has admitted publicly to S3 actual harassment. Glitch needs to see this now, and then shows a clear clearly fake tweet where apparently Michael Kovac states, I remember back during the 2017 Anime Expo when I walked past this 12 year old Eloale leaning at a table. I managed to get a quick creep shot under her skirt. When glancing at the pic I took later, it turned out she wasn't wearing underwear and so I'd gotten a view of her cooch. Good times. Now I just want you guys to keep in mind as well, right under that fake tweet they literally made a quote tweet to my tweet where I basically stated Kaneko Kin has worse allegations which will potentially come out and I will cover if they do. And he basically quote tweets that by stating, Didn't you get sent to the hospital on suicide watch? LOL. Haha, <laughs> you're so funny. Haha. <laughs> now, like, clearly these guys are mentally insane and have nothing better to do. So I just suggest we do what Michael said and basically just report, block, and move on. Like, don't give these guys any attention. They're just such sad losers. Like, classic rage bait trolls have existed on the internet for years and these people are no different. So let's get on to the next story. After the success of the amazing digital circus, of course people, and many people at that, come out the woodworks to basically capitalize on a trend like this, especially people who basically steal the intellectual property and copyright of Goosework and the Glitch team's assets. For example, if you literally go on Roblox right now, there are tons of assets nabbed from the show allowed on the sites. Now perhaps Gooseworks and her team are unaware of this, but if they are aware of this, I would assume they would be probably pissed off at this, but Roblox is literally known to foster this kind of problem. The the site is literally full and plagued with copyrighted assets from many popular games and labels, and it's practically a ticking lawsuit. Basically, these users are probably generating hundreds of thousands of Robux off of the amazing Digital Circus brand and are violating obvious copyright laws, so no doubt there is a possibility it might get DMCA'd, but who knows. Currently right now, users have actually also started becoming aware of the problem as well, but it's not like farming methods like mass shilling of Roblox UGC items is a new thing. For example, despite my previous videos, content farm channels, which are another genre, continue to spill absolutely wonderful content, and this such content is pioneered by the Socrates of our time, such as fucking Lanky Box. Today we are reacting to the amazing Digital Circus, which is one of the best and most popular animations on YouTube. Whoa! 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 We see the insane animated story about this girl who gets trapped in a crazy circus world. She has to fight monsters, find out who's corrupting her friends, and find an exit to the infinite circus world. And this is one of the best animation videos we've ever seen in our lives. Today we are watching the amazing digital circus, but showing you crazy secrets that you missed. Exactly, guys. There are so many secrets in this video that we totally missed. You guys gotta check these out. For example, at a certain point in the video, there's actually a hidden website with a top secret video that we have on screen right now, guys. This video will reveal crazy secrets about the digital circus that you missed. Yes, guys. We will show you what is 
on that website and reveal the dark origin story of Pondy. Are you ready to learn all the secrets? Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> like no matter how many times i probably address this on a video obviously content farm channels will always be a problem and ugc farm creators as well who just mash shill crappy copyrighted assets like as long as they get money they ain't gonna stop unless they face repercussions but anyway last story comes from more information garnered from the kinga situation if you didn't know we basically covered the allegations regarding the voice actor behind kinga sean chiplock having allegations of him as free actually harassing a 15 year old in 2013 and these were basically resurfaced allegations which were brought up in a 2019 google document made by a user called glitch puppet also known as pk and first of all if you haven't already make sure to go watch that video to get the full context behind the situation there's no inclination that sean knew the age of the person that pk alleged he was messaging however literally pk herself has multiple allegations that i briefly mentioned in the last video but i want to preface this in this video and state that pk and her associates such as her ex-husband in the past have done a plethora of alleged disgusting actions in which i'm showing right now on screen but i cannot say and i will also link all of the information in the description to appropriate sources if you wish to read because my god there is so much to cover literally years of archive proof against these people but basically they aren't an angel when going over the entire situation despite the fact that in my original video i had literally gone over how they vehemently denied every claim but there's a lot of proof against them the point is however just because pk has done vile things does not absolve sean chiplock's alleged wrongdoings either though but i i can't even i can't even voice like how bad some of these allegations against them are like zoophilia p freedophilia and all of that stuff i mean it's just insane like this is actual brain right and people have also made videos on this person before and many people were in my comment section going to me and saying well hey paulo this pk person as well is also not a good human being so i apologize i should have gone into more specifics on how both of these people allegedly aren't the best people but anyway thank you all for watching and make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new and obviously this video is not intended for hate harassment or cyberbullying this is just an educational video into the entire situation as a whole and make sure to check out my other videos too that will be in the end screen annotations right now and i'll see you guys in the next video goodbye Also would like to give some recognition to my main to my main man Parlo.